Will with Profit Programmer, and today marks the very first tutorial video that I put out there. Now, um, just straight up, if you don't know uh, what I'm gonna be typing out with JavaScript or HTML or anything like that, I'm not gonna be teaching you guys how to do that. You can go check out another YouTube channel, go learn how that particular language or uh, mark that markup text works, and then come back here and watch this video. So um, for those that are not currently subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Click that little uh, button right there and then also that bell so that you guys can get notified when I upload a video. But in this video series that I'm gonna be doing, um, we are going to be making a Chrome extension. And what that Chrome extension is gonna do is it's going to just have a really basic uh, button here where it'll just be in like one of these corners or something like that and then you could just click on it and then what it'll do is it will uh it'll go and authenticate with our uh with our own like apis to make sure that that person's actually subscribed to our um to our service to our url shortening service uh that way you know because what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be integrating this chrome extension with the stripe api that way um, when people you know want to pay us for our service they can so like five dollars a month whatever you want to do but yeah so Chrome extension shortens URLs checks to make sure that that person is currently subscribed to our service and then we'll shorten it and then it will come back and then uh, give us the shortened URL and then put it in um, our clipboard as well so then that way when they click the button it'll do all those actions and then it'll be in our clipboard ready for us to paste in a YouTube description, whatever it may be. So first thing that we need to do is we need to make a manifest.json file. Manifest.json, okay. And we are going to put curly braces in that sucker. Um, and at the top here, we are going to need our manifest version. Sorry, I'm, I'm just, I'm being honest right now, I am copying this from uh, my other Chrome extension, at least most of it anyways. Um, you can leave spaces here if you really want to. I kind of, yeah, I'm not gonna leave spaces. Um, and then we need a name for our Chrome extension. Uh, so we'll call this, uh, I mean, I'm just gonna call it uh, URL shorten, shortener. Call it whatever you want. Um, you can kind of follow along with me um, if you want. Uh, we also need a description. Um, so yeah, description, and then we'll need a version uh, for our um, for our Chrome extension. So I was going to do 1.0.0, and that's pretty standard across the industry. Uh, you got your major, minor, and then your build version. And then we have our, uh, we're going to be having a content script. So Sorry, I am copying this from um, my other extension. So we'll do wildcard um, colon forward slash forward slash wildcard dot forward slash. So I'm pretty sure this will cover everything. Actually, I think it's, I think that will cover everything. And then the JavaScript file that is going to be uh, loaded here, so uh, we'll just call this main.js. Uh, you guys can call this whatever you want. Uh, they just whatever, whatever your naming standard is for things, you can go ahead and name the redo redo the name or the uh, JavaScript there. Browser actions. So this is going to be the thing that you actually see in the upper right hand corner of your uh, browser, and we are going to say default icon is icon.png and we'll probably grab something uh, or make something up or I'll probably just you know, take the first picture I see off of Google. I'm not gonna be doing a web page, but we will do a default title and that will be URL short. Um, we will keep this persistent. Uh, actually, no, we don't need this persistent. What we do need is the page because You'll have a page, but the page will just load the uh, JavaScript 
here. So uh, I'll do background uh, HTML. And then for everything else, I uh, don't need that, don't need that. Permissions. Um, like I said, I'm flying by the seat of my pants. So we, we might not need some of this. Um, and what's funny is like you'll actually get dinged if you actually try to put this up on the store. If there's a permission that you don't aren't really using, uh, they'll tell you to redo your submission. Uh, but we're gonna try background here. We may be using this, we may be not. Um, we will need the active tab because uh, that will be, oops, sorry, this needs to be an array, uh, so the square bracket. Uh, so cool, we have that. And then next thing we're, we're gonna need is we're going to need that main.js. Um, and then what we're gonna be putting in here is just to let us know that it's actually been loaded. Uh, we'll just say hello world. Um, yeah, so this will just, it'll get loaded into the page and as soon as it gets loaded, it will say that. Um, it'll pop up a little box. And then we will also need our background uh, HTML. Uh, if you have Visual Studio Code or anything else, you can automatically do this. Um, and then do a script with the source of background.js. We might need this, we might not. Um, and then add our background.js. Uh, sorry, one thing, uh, that version does not need to be um, a string, it needs to be a number. Um, but if you've ever used this before, uh, yeah, you just go to load unpacked here and then you go to the folder where your extension is at and then you don't need to select anything, you just select the folder. And then uh, required value content scripts, zero matches is missing or invalid. Oh my God. So matches needs to be an array of strings. That took me forever so all urls in those brackets and then we drew a retry okay js is invalid so i think j yeah js needs to be an array as well yeah so both of these need to be an array and then to match any url we can put this little shortener here so now if we go to retry okay load cannot load oh yeah we need an icon um sure let's go with this guy Okay, now we got her working. So um, after getting that icon there, uh, we were able to load it. And then if we go over here, or we click on the extensions here, we'll see our URL shortener. Um, and then we will pin that so we can actually see it when it's here. Um, cool. And then when we ever go to a new page, maybe, go to like google.com. Boom, there you go. We got that alert, hello world. Now we know our extension is up and running, so that will be the end of this video. And in the next video, we will probably be tackling how to do user authentication. So I'll see you then. Peace.